the LinkedIn and the COVID, can you take us back to November, December of 2019 and or you know January, February, March of 2020? And then I think March 15th was when you know everything started really locking down. Um, what do you remember about that time period? Everything. <laughs> uh, I remember being at my desk when this thing first hit and we all laughed it off and made jokes about it. Uh, and then I remember getting the email that says, hey, indefinitely, you'll be working from home. And that was a wow moment for sure. And then I remember going to bed one night, you know, a happy LinkedIn employee going to President's Club. Life was good. And then getting a phone call from my buddy Enzo at two in the morning saying, hey, man, did you see this email? Like, I think we might be getting laid off tomorrow. Um, and then I remember hopping on that meeting and you know, the, the CEO that was made fun of for crying when he let go of a bunch of people over Zoom and people just nailed that guy. Well, they don't realize LinkedIn was the first company to do that um, when COVID hit. You know, we got on a Zoom call with 100, 200 other of my best friends and employees at LinkedIn. Five minute spiel from the head of sales and the head of HR about how we were no longer needed. And that was that. Um, so that's kind of how it went down. but. Again, one of those things that ended up being one of the best experiences for me personally, professionally, no hard feelings. It's business. It was just a wild, wild time. That's for sure. There's so many people this year that have felt something like that, where it's it's out of their hands. It's something that happened, you know, at a board level decision or at a, an executive level decision. It was all about, you know, which offices and which teams and which products are going to continue to be supported and which are just going to be sunset and yeah that's what would have been nice to have known is just some clarity around why i was on that list we weren't ever given an explanation to this day so that's the only resentment that i harbor from that situation yeah and that's why i've been so vocal on linkedin too with helping people amidst the layoffs the last you know six to twelve months because i a i know how much it sucks to be laid off especially from what you would consider like your dream job but B, because I just know how different my life is today than it was three years ago and how much better I am, you know, in a lot of different ways. So um, I, I've just tried to be really vocal, be a resource for people online uh, on LinkedIn who are going through layoffs. And it's been just amazing to see the reach that that's had and the impact that it's had on folks. So um, it taught me a lot, that experience.